Hey everyone, you're watching Goose in the Caboose Productions. Alright everyone, welcome to another Trains Build episode. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is Trains, and yes, I am finally doing another one of these. Uh, it has been forever, I grant it. I'm really sorry about the delay, guys. Uh, there is just stuff on the layout that I want to get done, and then August got here, and there was the NMRA National Convention to upload. Uh, layout update clips to get, which is coming, uh, and then I still got that. I've got a video of Mr. Van Cleve layout to go through. I've got clips from when our pastor and his wife went up to Rochelle, Illinois to upload. So there's three or four more videos, and I just, I forgot about this, and I had forgotten to take it and put it on a thumb drive and put it on the desktop. Uh, and all that debacle. Uh, update on that real quick. Eventually I will get uh, Geoforce 1080 TX or whatever the heck it is. Uh, I can't remember the cards. Whatever card Approach Medium uses for his for his videos. So I will I'll, I will get to that at some point. Uh, it is coming up. But anyways, so that's that. But no, it's just, yeah. So, but anyways, it is finally up here. But uh, for this episode, we are going to be focusing in on the downtown. Um, just so everybody knows, a little bit of a, reha a refresher here. This is a... Uh, trains SP2, SP2 well okay now it's SP3 because I just updated it yesterday but uh, now it's a Tain SP3 rebuild of the sea and country USA route from oh trains 09 so it's gonna I'm gonna keep the overall schematic the loop and the yard the position of the loop the yard the engine control that's staying you know, I tweaked it a little bit. Um, I'm having the mainline loop in to a staging. This is a model railroads version. So, you know, fascia, staging area, you got a staircase, wall, ceilings, floor, the whole gambit. But uh, the last episode, number one, we went about laying out the track work where uh, it comes out of the staging room, the mainline goes under the station, goes through a flyover into the yard and then goes back to the wall and on the other side of the backdrop behind Union Station in the downtown area in the yard the plan is to have essentially a commuter branch so uh, the commuter branch is next to Union Station because if you remember on the original route you had Union Station a Y and then there was a line going through all these commuter stops and on this other side of the hill divider they had the freight yard and then the two joined back up. So, again, orientation, just connecting points are kind of swapped around a little bit, but I'm going to have that and it'll run into, quote, the workshop. Uh, I wish somebody would make, you know, models of like, you know, lathes, drill presses, decoder testers, all that, you know, workshoppy stuff. You know, work or model workshops, you know, all the tools and everything that goes back there. But, uh, you know, in reality, that would be the connection in, give you a place to run any equipment that needs work on locomotives that have been programmed with JMRI or whatever. So, uh, and then we'll wrap around and we'll go through the scenery, we'll have the river gorge and still mill and everything. But, so yeah, this episode, like I said, we're just basically filling in downtown and uh, area around Union Station. Uh, instead of why I went with the flyover, and at some point in this, you'll see the um, working on a retaining wall for the flyover. And I also went and at, had and added a freight station in. Um, I don't know yet if I'm going to make this a modern or a 50s route. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do one that's modern and use the old freight house as like a museum kind of thing. 
modern and then go back and just swap out the locomotive facilities and whatnot. I don't know. I'll do one of the two. Uh, but that's basically the area we're working on, work, working on in the end and whatnot. So that's what we're doing. I am going to get back into this. Hopefully I'll actually work on this route some more today and do some more recordings and having our video up in a couple weeks. Also, I want to mention real quick, the other route, the uh, Port Tillamook and Northern, uh, I'm, I have been working on that. It's been forever since I did an episode. I did a lot. So I'm debating whether to make that, do a catch up episode and go on from there, which, or make that a live stream. It's give me something to do on live streams, which that might work better because I I don't tend to build like a first medium for instance he'll do a detailed scene and a detailed scene and a detailed scene and string them together I honestly I tend to do a lot more jumping around you know I still do it in sections just there's a lot more jumping around between sections and when I get tired of you know rain, I'll do a little jump over this area and do coloring, jump over that area and do grass, jump over that area and fix track or signals or switch stands or something. So, I don't know quite what I'm going to do with that. Uh, but anyways, that is going to do it. I want to mention, before I go any farther, I'll have a layout update, but in the meantime, I want to do shout out to a couple new subscribers. I'm up to 128, and those people include M.A. and I'm gonna butcher the name here. Valdruck, Valdruck. Oh, sounds German. I don't know. Apologies if I butchered that. I probably did. Uh, oh, and I also want to mention real quick. Show Chad Lever some love, everyone. He uh, had his basement flood, like Sparky did a while back. So just, you know, just shoot him a comment. He's starting to rebuild. Uh, he's feeling pretty low in the hobby, which I would too, to go through all that. But uh, anyways, also new subscribers. Shout out to Solo Contract. Shout out to Union Pacific and BNSF Productions. Nathan D. Lay and Geoff Redmond Jumble Lane. Thank you guys. They all subscribed because I was in Sparky's last live stream. So thank you for coming to the channel. Hope you enjoy the content. I'll have a layout update up fairly soon. Um, let's see. I'm going through my notifications to make sure there's nobody I missed out. Yeah, that should. That's all the new recent new subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. I, I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the videos. Don't forget to check out the novel. Uh, check out the links on top of my homepage. There's a link to my novel on fanfiction.net, Google Plus, and Pinterest, where I, I've been gathering a bunch of railroad photography pictures and I post some stuff on my own every once in a rare blue moon. And then there's a couple blogs up there too. One is Conrail's On a Day of Cutoff. I think that layout has been in Ma Railroad Craftsman. No, Ma Railroad Hobbies in MR a couple times. And then the JLT there. Those are a couple of blocks up there. Very good. So, yeah, check them out. Alright, that is going to do it. Everyone, as always, thank you for watching. This is Goose from the Produce Productions. Comment, like, subscribe, and if you subscribe, hit the bell icon and you'll get notified whenever I upload another video. Alright, so that's going to do it. As always, thank you for watching this. Everybody take care, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.